Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and this gun that you see in front of you is my newest investment that I picked up about about a week ago. Um, I, w I was going to Rural King one day to get some ammunition and saw that they just started selling guns, so I figured, what the hell, uh, I get one of these Marlin 795, and I really bought this gun so that I could go squirrel hunting with it. I already had a 22 semi-automatic, but it's a it's got a wooden stock on it. And for going through the woods, I really wanted something with a synthetic stock. So I bought the gun that you see here. And it's it's an okay gun. It was about $180 plus tax. And compared to my other semi-automatic, which is a Marlin 49, um, it's pretty decent. It has a last shot hold open, so that's something that my 49 doesn't have. And the, the lever to release it is here. And it has a, it has a detachable magazine. It's nickel plated come on there it goes it's a nickel plated magazine 10 shot and that's kind that's kind of an upgrade from my 49 and it kind of isn't because the 49 has a tubular magazine and that holds 18 rounds this only holds 10 rounds but you can get more of these so you can get like, I don't know, four or five of these and you can have, you know, 50 rounds and you can just do quick reloads when you're um, at the range or in the field or whatever. And I, I only have one right now, but I really want more because loading these things is a pain and I'd rather have quite a few loaded up and, and I could just do quick reloads. But it's... Uh, it's a nice gun. I think they uh, went a little cheap. Marlin went a little cheaper than uh, than like last year, or, you know, years before, because the older 795s had real sling swivel studs, and these I don't know if you can really tell, but they're they're molded into the stock. And I'd rather have like I'd rather have the real metal ones but whatever it's not a really expensive gun and truth be told I'd rather tear up a cheap stock in the woods than an expensive stock so I'll probably probably just gonna stick with this stock um, definitely gonna get a sling though so I can put it over my shoulder but the iron sights on this when I was shooting it they're pretty dead accurate I shot it the first time a few days ago and it shot it shot a little to the right but that I guess that could have just been me but it was at the right elevation for the bullseye it was just about an inch to the right or 2 inches to the right but I think it's pretty pretty good to say that I could pro I could definitely use this to go squirrel hunting and not have to put a scope on it because I'm not really a scope person and I don't know if I if I come to the point where I can't shoot squirrels with this with iron sights I might go with my 410 to go squirrel hunting but I think I'll do pretty I think I'll do just fine with this and this gun would also it's also a great plinker cuz you know it's 22 so not very expensive compared to like my 3030 because 3030 is I don't know about a dollar a shot right now but it is what it is I would recommend this gun um, either this or a Ruger 1022 or a um, a Marlin Model 60 they're all pretty decent guns uh, 
Model 60 has the tubular magazine like my 49. This has a detachable magazine that protrudes from the stock and the 1022 has a rotary magazine that is flush which is kind of an kind of an upside to the 1022 and but the downside of the 1022 is that it doesn't have the last shot hold open like this or the model 60 which is probably the biggest reason I would take this over a 1022 but I don't have a 1022 I have this and 1022s are also a little more expensive so anyway Marlin 795. Uh, this is my third 22, uh, second functioning 22, but it's a fun gun. Might want to consider getting one. Maybe if you want to go squirrel hunting or if you just want to have something to plink around with, it's pretty decent. That's all I have. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.